Microsoft has just unveiled its latest generative AI model, Phi 4, proving that when it comes to AI, size isn't everything. This newest addition to the Phi family may not be as massive as some of the AI giants out there, but don't underestimate it. With 14 billion parameters, Phi 4 focuses on quality over quantity. It excels in complex reasoning and solving math problems, often outperforming much larger models. What truly sets Phi 4 apart is its commitment to high-quality data, making it a standout in the world of AI. Instead of primarily using traditional datasets, such as web content or code repositories, Microsoft adopted a different approach by utilizing a significant amount of synthetic data. This data wasn't randomly generated. It was intentionally designed to provide structured and progressive challenges for the model to learn from. The use of synthetic data offers a unique advantage. It ensures that the training process closely aligns with the specific tasks the model is expected to handle in real-world scenarios. For GPT-4, this means tasks like solving mathematical problems and performing reasoning-intensive benchmarks. Microsoft has incorporated carefully curated, high-quality human-generated content into the training process. This hybrid approach enhances the AI's understanding of real-world scenarios while ensuring a high degree of precision. For instance, the team employed innovative techniques during training, such as multi-agent prompting, where AI agents interact to produce improved data. They also used instruction reversal, a method that flips tasks to help the model comprehend them more intuitively. These strategies contribute to a more robust and versatile AI system. Benchmarks highlight the impressive effectiveness of this approach in tackling math competition problems. The F4 model surpasses even much larger systems, such as Google's Gemini Pro 1.5 and OpenAI's GPT 4.0, by scoring an outstanding 80.4 on the math benchmark, placing it ahead of many competitors. In coding tasks, F4 demonstrated exceptional performance on both the Human Evil and Human Evil Plus tests, showcasing its strong capabilities in technical areas beyond just language processing. This achievement underscores that a smaller model, when strategically trained, can compete head-to-head -head with much larger systems. One of the key highlights of 54 is its ability to strike an excellent balance between performance and efficiency. While larger models like GPT-4 or Gemini Ultra boast hundreds of billions of parameters, they are often computationally expensive to operate. In contrast, 54 delivers competitive results while requiring significantly fewer computational resources. This makes it a perfect solution for companies and organizations seeking high-quality AI capabilities without the need for extensive infrastructure to support larger models. Much of this success can be attributed to post-training innovations. Microsoft introduced methods like Direct Preference Optimization, DPO, which fine-tunes the model's responses by comparing various outputs and guiding the AI toward the most accurate and useful ones, especially for tasks requiring complex reasoning. DPO makes a significant impact in such cases. Additionally, there's rejection sampling, a technique that filters out less accurate or less helpful responses during the training process. Combined, these methods enhance the model's output to a level that exceeds its predecessors. 54 is not just focused on delivering exceptional performance. It's also built with safety and reliability at its core. Microsoft has incorporated responsible AI practices into the development process. For example, their Azure AI Foundry platform offers tools to monitor and manage risks, ensuring that the AI stays aligned with ethical standards. Features like prompt shields and content filters provide an added layer of protection. Creating the 54 model, one that's not only powerful but also safe for deployment, comes with an intriguing story about its timing. 5.4 is the first Furies model released. Since Sebastian BBC, a key figure in Microsoft's AI division, left the company in October to join OpenAI, his departure hasn't held the team back. In fact, Microsoft is clearly reinforcing its dedication to innovation in this field. The success of the model is largely attributed to its training process. Microsoft employed over 10 trillion tokens during pre-training, using a combination of synthetic data and carefully selected web content. Instead of feeding random data into the model, every piece was specifically curated, 
filtered, and optimized to push the boundaries of what the model could achieve. Custom synthetic data sets were created from the ground up to build scenarios that would test reasoning and problem-solving abilities. Additionally, organic data sets such as web content and code repositories were meticulously filtered to ensure quality and relevance. A key feature of 54's training process was the use of pivotal token search. This method pinpoints crucial moments in a model's output where the choice of the next token can greatly influence the overall outcome. By concentrating on these key points, the training process becomes more focused and efficient. It's like shining a spotlight on the most critical aspects of the task, helping the model focus on what truly matters. Despite being just 14 billion parameters in size, 54 manages to outperform larger models in specific benchmarks. For instance, on graduate-level STEM questions and mathematical reasoning tasks, 54 achieved a higher score than its predecessor, GP40. Additionally, it demonstrated remarkable coding abilities, surpassing many open-weight models, even larger ones like Llama 3 double quote. However, there are some limitations. While 54 excels in reasoning and problem-solving, it faces challenges with strictly following instructions, particularly for tasks requiring specific formatting or structured outputs. It occasionally generates hallucinated information, such as inventing details about non-existent individuals. Microsoft is actively addressing these issues by improving instruction following through additional training and exploring the integration of real-time search capabilities. At present, 54 is available in a limited research preview via Microsoft's Azure AI Foundry platform. Researchers can access it under a Microsoft Research License Agreement, but it has not yet been made widely available. Plans are underway to release this model on Hugging Face soon, which will make it accessible to a much wider audience. This development is particularly significant for mid-sized companies. Its efficiency provides a cost-effective solution for businesses that may have previously been reluctant to adopt AI due to the high expenses of larger models. With its lower computational requirements, this model enables companies to integrate advanced AI capabilities seamlessly, without the need for extensive infrastructure changes or excessive costs. Microsoft's commitment to responsible AI deserves recognition. The model went through extensive safety evaluations, including a comprehensive red teaming exercise conducted by Microsoft's AI Red Team. Their focus was on identifying vulnerabilities, assessing risky behaviors, and uncovering potential exploitation methods. Model 54 demonstrated robust performance, showcasing strong defenses against adversarial attacks and prompt manipulation. Microsoft tackled a common challenge in AI development, data contamination. They enhanced their decontamination processes to ensure that training data did not overlap with evaluation benchmarks. This improvement prevents the model from cheating by being exposed to test questions beforehand, resulting in more reliable and credible performance evaluations. Another significant area of progress for GPT-4 is its performance in long-context tasks. During mid-training, Microsoft extended the model's context length from 4,000 tokens to 16,000 tokens. This upgrade enables the model to handle more intricate, multi-step tasks, such as summarizing lengthy documents or reasoning across extensive datasets. In practical applications, this capability is essential for fields like law, research, and technical writing, where managing and interpreting vast amounts of information is critical. The results speak for themselves. In benchmarks like the Helm Long Context Evaluation, GPT-4 excelled, outperforming even some larger models. It is capable of retrieving and processing detailed information from long inputs with remarkable accuracy, making it a strong contender for tasks that require a deeper understanding of context. Safety was a key priority in its design. Microsoft incorporated supervised fine-tuning data sets focused on minimizing hallucinations and enhancing the model's alignment with human preferences. They also rigorously tested it to ensure it generates no harmful content or bias. The result is a model that not only performs excellently but does so in a responsible manner. There's much to be excited about with this model. It's efficient, innovative, and built to address specific challenges in reasoning and problem-solving. By focusing on data quality and applying cutting-edge training techniques, 
Microsoft has developed a model that stands out in a crowded field. For researchers, developers, and businesses looking to adopt AI, this model offers a glimpse of what's achievable when smaller models are trained with precision and purpose. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.